hello everyone my name is jamila so today i'll be teaching you how to make this old hijab in this video it is so simple if you can listen carefully to all that i'll be showing to you in the um video so kindly like comment subscribe and share this video to your friends and then try and check my um, my other videos you can learn one or two things from this so let's get right into the video okay welcome back so please try and concentrate okay so this particular hijab we are making we are using length 64 so this is the length we are trying to remove in this video length 24 64 and you are going to double it okay So as you can see we are using 67 instead of 64 that's 30 inches allowance so at this point you are going to fold into two that's the 67 in two places i hope you are getting it So yeah, we are trying to make sure our measurement is correct. Please try and ensure your own is correct too. So now we are removing the neck of our hijab. The measurement of the neck is 8 inches by 1 inches. 8 inches by 1 inches. Then you notch it. 8 inches by 1 inch, please. Please, when you are done with the cutting of the neck, try and notch the middle of the neck, the center. Notch it. You are going to need it later. Please notch it. Thank you. So you can see our neck and our shoulder. So we are going to join the shoulder later. So we are done with the body of the wood right now. Okay. No Please, did you see how the head of the hijab was folded into four like a flare then folded into four can you see then the measurements we are using will be length 18 length 18 for people that are tall like this is a constant measurement 18 you can do 17 you can do 19 18 did you see 18 inches so we are cutting it out so that is what we are going to be using for the head of our hijab like the picture inserted above then you are going to notch the head please all these places that i'm telling you to notch please don't forget it is very useful so we are cutting the cape that will be on the hijab i'll insert the picture so that you understand what we are cutting so the cape measurement is usually by six inches six inches by five inches six inches by four inches any of your choice so right now we are using six inches by five inches then you cut it out six inches by five inches please don't forget we use for our for our hijab we use 18 inches this is six by five then notch please don't forget all these places i'm telling you to notch they are useful notch 
So now we are cutting our oat, which is the one usually on top of the hijab that will be at the back of our neck. That is hood. Oat, that's what we are cutting now. First of all, you measure the, the neck measurements we, we did earlier, the 8 by 1 inch. So we got 10 inches. So we so now we are cutting 10 inches by 19 inches or 10 inches by 18 inches. Anyone you like. That's the measurement, the long the longness of the wood. You know our hijab too was 18 inches. So now we are doing 19 inches because of allowance. So this is 10 inches by 19 inches the 10 inches was gotten from the measurement of the neck this is not a constant measurement please measure your own then the 19 inches is a constant measurement thank you can you guys see 10 by 19 they curve it okay so at this point if you are still enjoying this video and you are not confused and confused i'm so happy that you are learning something please kindly subscribe at this point thank you so the next thing we are cutting is the band of the wood the band of our wood the band of our wood you see when we are joining everything it will all make sense we cut the band that will be at the edge of the wood do you understand because we, we you can use bias but you know bias will not be in this so let's just use band to aim it round so after, so let me be honest at this point i didn't understand what he was doing so so i was asking him that why are you cutting that band like what do you need it for so he was not telling me that when you join that this um curve part the other part that will remain it will be like the sleeve of your hand this was showing me a sleeve that can you see that's what you used to had it so that you know use a hand can you see can you see that is it it's not like a hand can you guys see that's the band we used to turn it so that it would be neat instead of you using bias you know we are going to put a rope inside as i'll insert the picture so that you remember so now we are cutting the band of our sleeve as long as possible as long as you like so the length does not matter but the width of the the sleeve is eight inches then we are folding into two that will be four inches okay <laughs> 